I've repainted a lot of metal objects over the years. There's one thing for certain which is the key to a good finish. Preparation. Bad preparation, bad finish. Average preparation, it'll probably rust again and the paint will fall off. Good or great preparation, then you've got the best shot for a long lasting finish, even outdoors for years to come. For today's quick tip, I'm going to repaint this metal wall mounted waste can. It doesn't need a new car finish. There's no need to sandblast it down to the bare metal. It is, however, going into a bathroom, so it's going to need to resist moisture and rust and look good. This method will work for many other metal objects that you want repainted and to remain durable and long lasting. Step one, remove loose chipping paint and surface rust. I'm using an orbital sander with 120 grit sandpaper. You can do this by hand, but it'll probably take you an extra half hour. Now I'll switch to 220 grit sandpaper in order to get a smoother finish and reduce the chance of seeing those minor surface scratches. If you've got rust, treat the rust using a rust neutralizer like this product called Osfo. Some paints like Rust-Oleum say that they stop rust, but I don't believe it. Someday I'm going to test that theory. They even have a rusty metal primer. But in my experience, this is just slightly better than regular primer. I've had rust bleed through after using Rust-Oleum products. The best solution is a rust neutralizer, which changes the chemical composition of rust, turns it black, and it can be painted the next day. Step three, primer. Clean the entire surface using paint thinner or mineral spirits. They're basically the same, only mineral spirits is more refined and it stinks less. Spray or brush on a good primer. Some paints have a primer and paint mixed together. I guess that's okay. I've got no science to back me here, but I think separate is better. Before you spray, read the instructions on your can of primer. There's good information here, and there may be something specific to your application. For example, after one hour, I can paint on top of this primer. Step four, paint. Before spraying, read instructions. My can says that a second coat can be applied within one hour or after 24 hours. Now, that's pretty specific. I assume that's for the best adhesion, before it fully dries or after it completely dries. When spraying, look at your project in a good light and on an angle and spray a few light passes until it builds up into a thickness where you'll start to see it shine. Not too little paint or it's gonna look spotty and dull. Not too much paint or it will run, especially on the vertical parts of your project. It's been 45 minutes. The temperature is 84 degrees here now, so I'm gonna give it a second coat. Tomorrow it'll be dry and ready to be put back into service. This took about 10 hours to dry. There are all kinds of paints you can apply on top of the primer. Some will last longer and look better than others, but if you fail in the preparation, it doesn't matter what kind of paint you use, your project will not look good for long. Whether you have a metal trash can, a metal shelf, or a mailbox, giving it a fresh coat of paint with a little preparation is a story that ends well.